honey. It's April Hainsworth with Blogging with April. And today I have Miss Tracy Kelly. She's going to tell us about her spices and other merchandise she has um, on her website. Okay. So it's Tracy Richardson. Tracy Richardson? I'm yes. sorry. Tracy Richardson. Okay. Okay, Miss Tracy, um, where did the name Miss Lily came from? So um, we started the company because um, we used to spend Sunday dinners with my Aunt Lily uh, in Philadelphia while my dad was stationed at Fort Dix. Um, so we, because we spent so many, sum, uh, so many summers and um, did Sunday dinners with her, we named the company uh, Lily's of Trust. Okay, so Miss Lily, is that your aunt? Yes, that's my dad's mother's sister, so she was our great aunt. So tell us about your retail products. Like, how did you come up with the catchy name for your products? Like, I ran the um, the website, like Low Country Local and Ivy Barbecue Sauce. Like, what make you come up with those names? So we, um, because of the Gullah culture here in Charleston and in South Carolina, um, we decided to pay tribute to that with um, like names like Had Mussy, uh, Low Country Local, because it's a hot to us. Hot sauce, and so that's why we came up with Low Country Loco. Had Musty is our hot version of our mustard barbecue sauce, um, so we use sort of a Gala name for that. Um, same thing for Hissy Fit for our spices um, because it's a sort of a southern name, southern tradition, people using the phrase, uh, you know, throwing Hissy Fit. So oh, <laughs> that's wow. what we gave our names, you know, to tribute to the Gala culture but also to our southern tradition. And talking about gullah, so what other kind of foods y'all used to serve on the menu? Your dad owned a restaurant. What kind of gullah foods did y'all serve? So um, we had a lot of seafood, which is very traditional here. Red rice, which is um, very kind of gullah. Like a rice with uh, A lot of different rice dishes we do with our um, sort of gullah traditions. Um, and people like, like fried fish and things like that. So all of your sort of southern traditional foods that are gullah based and also um, southern tradition. Okay, what are some of your favorite products that you use at home for your recipe that you said? Um, I like probably, um, my husband is a very big fan of hot foods, so Hissy Fit is used on a lot of things. Because <laughs> he likes it, Hissy Fit on his eggs, he likes it on his french fries. I personally like our mustard barbecue. Um, I use that a lot. And then our, whole, our hot sauce, Low Country Loco, um, we use that as an ingredient, not just a condiment. So when my dad makes fried fish, we'll use it tradi like you use your traditional hot sauce and we put it on the fish. But then when we make our red rice, we use it as an ingredient to make the actual red rice. Oh, wow. So how long did it take you to come up with these spices? And so like, how long did it take like to mix things together and um, so the the recipes for all the sauces really came from the, um, the mid '80s when my dad had a restaurant in downtown Charleston. So a lot of those came um, with, uh, from his recipes. And then my husband developed a lot of our hotter recipes because, like I said, he likes hot food. So he took the mustard barbecue, made the hot version of that. Um, the spices, um, he made the hissy fit version. We had a mild version of it called colada. So he made the um, Hissy Fit. And those took several years to develop because we've been sort of working up um, and playing with stuff, you know, based on what um, feedback we get from family and friends because we'll use them as sort of our testing yeah. ground. <laughs> I was wondering, like, how do y'all go about testing it before y'all sell it to the public? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, That's we test cool. it on family and friends. And then when we do festivals, sometimes we'll introduce new products. Like this past weekend, we did seaweed. And we tested our um, spices on popcorn, and it was really well received. Okay, so where do y'all normally go um, to market your stuff, like festivals? Like, what all? Where do y'all travel? Um, we do festivals like Seaweed. We we'll do um, food shows, like sometimes the Cisco show. Um, we go to different presentations to present to different companies. It's just a variety of different things, and then we um, sell our stuff through other vendors, like. Um, the ladies in the marketplace, um, a store in uh, Charleston, or what's actually called Charleston Special Foods. Um, so a lot of different uh, sort of venues, restaurants, you know, a lot of different venues. Okay, so can y'all find your stuff like in grocery stores 
Yes, so you can find it in the food lines, and in the Paris Teeters, the U.S. Food Chef Store, um, or online at Amazon. Um, it's, you know, a variety of different specialty stores, stores across the country, a lot of them. I was keep busy. I'll stay busy in my life. Okay, my name. Okay. How can we learn more about your merchandise? Tell us with your social media. Where can we go purchase them from? Spices and sauces. Yeah, so you should go to our website. You can get links to our Instagram page. We have a Facebook page as well as Twitter. Um, and then you'll get a link to Amazon where you can buy us anywhere. Okay. You have any big plans for the future? Like what you plan on taking? Um, yeah, we're going to be developing um, some uh, sandwich uh, spreads. So we're taking like the hot sauce and the mustard barbecue and expanding that um, and making them into sandwich spreads. Um, we're interested in introducing the hot honey, which is really popular right now. Um, and then we'd like to take some of our spices. And because it was so well received on popcorn, we'd like to put it on snack items like peanuts and nuts and popcorn and chips, things like that. So what's your best seller? Our two best sellers are our uh, hot sauce, Low Country Loco, and then our um, mustard barbecue that's called Hot Mussy. Um, and we're finding that our Apple hot chip. spice, Pissy Fit, uh, is also be, uh, very popular. So probably our hot items are really becoming very popular and we're becoming no, well known for having really good flavor products first. Um, and because the heat doesn't like burn your tongue where you can't <laughs> taste anything, it's really about the fact that we deliver flavor first and then That's good information, and like I said, this was sure and nice talking to you. Nice learning about your products and spice. Anything you want to add and tell the community about your products? Um, we're excited to be a part of uh, Charleston and to have our products represent um, flavorful uh, Southern traditions in the Bella culture. Okay. Can you tell us the name of your website so we can look you up? Sure. It's called Lilies of Charleston. Lilies is spelled L I L L I E S of Charleston.com. So there, guys, you have it. Um, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, Blogging with April. Um, like my page on Facebook, Blogging with April. And also go to my website to learn more about this story at www.aprilblog.online. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.